Hello, uh, let me show you what I'm doing here. Um, I got inspired by Rick from All American 5 Radio. And uh, I had this scope, I had this scope for about five years. And I got this on, on eBay for about, I think it was about $140. Which wasn't a bad deal because this is a Tektronics 60 megahertz scope. 2215 so um, for about $140 wasn't bad at all but um, what I'm doing here is I'm using this audio frequency generator part to inject a tone into the uh, phono jack area of the radio where you could attach a record player to it and Rick had said, sometimes a good place to start is in the middle. So I figured, hey, why not? Makes sense to me, I guess. Good as any part, part to start. So I'm injecting the tone. I'm going to turn it up here. And this is what's going into the photo jack. And I guess that's not... Too bad of a sine wave, I guess. And I found out that when I move the scope to the output of one of the drivers, there, oops, That's what I'm getting. And, um, it doesn't look too good. I mean, that's like... It's kind of less than what was going into it. And it's all distorted. So that's, that's not too cool. If you look on the on the other tube, that's what the wave looks like on the other tube. So it was a pretty good sine wave going in, and this is what's coming out of the driver tubes. That's one of the driver tubes there. So I'm guessing there's a problem in between those two areas. That doesn't look too good. So um, I have to look and see where to put the scope probe, but I'm going to sh shut off the video now because I have to figure out where to put it in between the two. So uh, take it easy, folks. Have a good day. Bye.